Hey, thanks for choosing Blackjack Sidekick. Over the next few minutes, we'll go over everything you need to know to get started. You can begin by first opening up the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet included in your package. When you first open up the spreadsheet, you might get a notification asking if you want to enable macros. If you see this, accept it. It will make keeping track of all your cards a lot easier. So here's the main dashboard for Blackjack Sidekick, where you'll be spending most of your time. In the bottom of the file, you'll notice a whole bunch of other sheets, but we can safely ignore these for now. These other sheets are reserved for most of the mathematical heavy lifting, which we don't have to worry about until perhaps later, when we might want to, for example, adjust for different rule sets. With that said, let's get right into this. So over here, we can adjust for the number of decks that our particular game has. Most online casinos typically play with four, six, or eight. From a card counting perspective, the fewer the cards, or rather the fewer the decks, the better. So we can get a more accurate read on the true count. And we'll cover this more a little later. As you can see, adjusting the number of decks also changes the composition of the deck. For now, we'll assume we're playing a four deck game. Now over here, we have our card and deck tracker. It's fairly straightforward. Whenever you see a card dealt, simply press the corresponding button and you'll see the totals change accordingly. For example, let's say that the dealer deals a four, a jack, a six, a queen, a 10, a seven, a king, and a six. Now, if you're especially observant, you might have noticed a couple things change when I inputted those cards. Let me draw your attention to the charts on the right. Now, for those of you acquainted with basic strategy, these should look pretty familiar. But these charts go beyond typical basic strategy charts and will actually change depending on the composition of the deck. If I input a few more cards, you might notice that a lot of the optimal plays depicted by the charts will change depending on what's remaining in the deck. For example, if a lot of small cards are being dealt, suddenly it becomes advantageous for you to double on a lot of these higher soft hands, when previously it would be best to simply stand. Now using these charts are very easy. Simply find your total on the left-hand side and compare it with the dealer's up card across the top. Red H's indicate that you should hit, blue D's that you should double, yellow S's for stand, and these gray E's for surrender, if your particular game allows you to give up your hand in exchange for 50% of your bet. Similarly, if you have a pair, this chart here will tell you whether or not to split. The green Y's indicate yes, and the N's no. You can press the shuffle button here to clear your totals and to reset your charts once the dealer reaches a cut card in your game. Now built in into Blackjack Sidekick is a card counter based on the classic high-low counting system. A lot of material has already been written about it, but the basic premise of the system is that you want to keep track of when the deck is rich in high-value cards, like tens, face cards, and aces. When the deck is rich in these cards, you're expected to receive better hands on average, and thus you're expected to receive a higher average return on the hands you play. When the true count is high, you want to play. And when the true count is low, that is when the deck is rich in low cards, you want to avoid playing, or you want to reduce your bets until the true count is high again. Now here we have a heat tracker. The heat tracker here supplements your knowledge of the true count and makes a suggestion of whether or not you should play the next hand. The true count gives you a measure of how rich the deck is in high or low cards. The heat tracker, however, says that given that the true count can change with every card dealt, would it still be advisable to make a bet and play the next hand? For example, even though we might have a positive true count, it's still possible that after the next few cards are dealt, our true count might dip very low into the negatives and 
will then be locked into playing a very unfavorable situation. The heat tracker tries to avoid this by adding a buffer to the true count and only suggesting that you play when you can really maximize your edge. Now over here we have our bankroll and bet tracker. We can easily manipulate the size of our bets by pressing any of these toggles over here. If, for example, you choose to double down or split, you can alter your bet accordingly by pressing the 2W button, which essentially multiplies your wager by 2. Now let's say we're dealt a hand. Let's say a 10 and a 2. It doesn't matter what order they're in. We'll input these values, these cards, into these fields over here. Let's say that the dealer is dealt a 2, which we'll input over here. Now immediately on the right, you'll see that the expected return for each decision that we can make, given our cards, given the dealer's up card, and the composition of the cards left in the deck. Now changing even the slightest variable, like adding or removing a single card, will change these values, and in some cases even change the optimal play to make. Now the optimal play is bolded and highlighted in green. So here the decision that would result in the greatest return would be to hit. The box to the right of this, in most games you can safely ignore, but essentially it provides you with the expected return if you can only hit once and then must stand. It's basically half the expected value or the expected return of doubling. You won't have to worry about this unless you're playing under some unique circumstances that only a fraction of online casinos present. Now, some online casinos, for example, like Five Dimes, they'll provide you the option to take an early payout. It's not exactly surrendering, since surrendering is typically fixed at losing half your bet. Now, to accommodate this early payout option, you can type in what the casino is offering as an early payout for your particular hand in this yellow box over here. Let's say, given all that's happened, for example, the casino is offering $6.78 immediately for your hard 12 against a dealer's 2. Now we'll see here in the returns table that the most optimal play is still to hit. What we found in playing with a number of online casinos is that their offers of early payout do not change based on the composition of the deck. That is, these online casinos don't card count themselves. So here we can take advantage of our knowledge of the true count. There will often be scenarios in which case you'll be making more money in the long run taking the early payout. Now let's say we go ahead and following the strategy, the strategy rather generated that we hit our hard 12 against the dealer's two. And let's say we get a seven putting our total to 19. Any new total that we get after our initial two cards, we can input in this yellow box over here. So let's say for this particular hand, hard 19 against a two, the casino is now offering $11.20. So we can adjust the early payout accordingly. Now the return tables also change. And now we see that the optimal play is to stand, since this gives us an expected return of positive 37.81%. Now, depending on the outcome of that particular game, we can then press any of these four buttons over here to indicate a win, loss, push, or early payout or surrender. Let's say, for example, that we end up winning this hand. Our bankroll will change accordingly. As we can see here, the amount of money we have has gone up precisely by one wager's amount. And we can also see if we check the log sheet in the sheet right over, that there is another spreadsheet here that will automatically keep track of that particular hand. And it also notes a few key details that we can then later use for your own analysis later on. Now, after each hand, you can press the clear hands button and this will clear a few of the fields above and you can start afresh. Now, one last thing to note is the chart right over here, which notes the expected return for a few side bets that might be available for you. Insurance and even money represented here and a pair side bet, which a few online casinos do offer. 
So these would only be worth taking if and only if these were positive, in which case they'd also be highlighted in green. So there you have it. That should be all that you need to know to get started with the Blackjack Sidekick. If you want to tinker with any of the math involved underneath it all, feel free to check out the other sheets. But of course, if you have any questions, or if you need any help adjusting for a particular rule set, just pop us a message at blackjacksidekick.com and we'll do our best to help out. Thanks again and good luck.